So, today we're watching Bucky Books on NFL Network talk about why the Cleveland Browns are going to win the division. And, listen, I have been very high on the Cleveland Clowns to how well they're going to do this season. I think they're going to go 9-8, 10-7. I think they're going to be a 7-seed playoff team. I know a lot of people in this channel have said the opposite. said there's no way in heck they get the 7th seed. There's no way in heck they make the playoffs. I think with their defense, with their defensive line being as star-studded as it is, Nick Chubb carrying the football and Deshaun Watson being a tad bit better with an easy schedule, they could possibly get a 7th seed and go 9-8 or 10-7. But I think that's the top of the top. There's no above that. That is the that is the floor is 9 or 8-9. and nine. The ceiling is 10-7. and seven. But let's go ahead and watch or listen to what Bucky Brooks has to say about this and why they might win the division. To me, on paper, they're right there with the Cincinnati Bengals. They're neck and neck. There's a, a part of me that believes the Cleveland Browns will win the division, and it's going to be very impressive. It's not only what we talked about offensively, because I can talk about the firepower, Amari Cooper, and a lot more, uh, David and Joku, Nick Chubb, and, and those guys. But defensively is where they've made the biggest improvement. Jim Schwartz, come, Jim Schwartz comes over, gives them a Super Bowl winning defensive coordinator. You have Zadarius Smith and Miles Garrett, who might be the best one-two punch as edge rushers in the National Football League. And with Schwartz being able to tie that in with a wide nine front, a defensive backfield that really specializes in playing man-to-man, -man, this could be problematic for a lot of teams in the AFC. And so... You know, I'm, I'm really excited to the Browns. And when we talk about the uniform deal, the all white, the drip, man, when you have the drip to go with the talent and the stuff that the Browns have going on, I'm really excited about what they have going on in the dark. Listen, second best uniforms in Ohio, period. But to their, his point, right, because we had the ESPN, uh, Browns, ESPN uh, radio host come out around, a, uh, I think it was on a month ago. And he was going crazy, upset, saying, Why can't we think we're going to win the division? Why can't the Browns think they're going to win the division? Why do we have to accept that the playoffs are the best thing we're going to do? Because you're the Browns. Because you're the Cleveland Clownies. Because this picture right here iterates you completely. Now, on a real note, though, listen, you guys can sit there and dream in Candyland in a very far universe away that you guys are going to win the division. But here's the problem. If Joe plays every single game in the season, there's a 0% chance you win the division. That's just a period fact. If Lamar Jackson plays every single game in the season, right, there's probably a 1% chance you, make, you win the division. If Kenny Pickett plays every single game of the season this year, there's probably a 10% chance you win the division. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. On a real note, though, you have to finish better than the Bengals, the Ravens, and the Steelers. And that's not going to be easy to do. I think the Ravens realistically could go 10-7. and seven. I think that, you know, I'd say probably they're, ce they're stealing. The Ravens are 11-6. and six. Um, Their floor is 10-7. and seven. Oh, that's, that's actually the floor is like 8-9. and nine. But their ceiling is uh, 11 and 6. The Steelers, I would say probably same thing with the Browns. I think they're 10 and 7 or 8 and 9, kind of in that ballpark range. And that's the same thing with the Browns and the Steelers. For the Bengals, I think our lowest amount of games that we're going to lose this year, our worst record possible, 12 and 5. Our best record possible, 17 and 0. So, you have to win more than 12 games this year. And that's if, again, we, we were just having an awful season. Maybe Joe misses some games. You know, our defense can't click correctly. There's some bullcrap PI calls at the end of the games that we lose. Stuff like that. You know, just some crazy stuff like that. That's the only way you can win the division. And even then, you have to win 13 games. Which, you're going to have to beat. The Steelers twice, Ravens twice, and Bengals twice. It's not going to happen, Cleveland. Listen, I understand you have these crazy expectations because this is the last year Cleveland can go win a Super Bowl. Oh, sorry, go to the playoffs for a very long time. And what I mean by that is next year, you guys are negative 60 million in the hole. You're going to have to lose a lot of pieces 
and really just revamp your whole entire team and kind of go into a mini rebuild, right? And I know a lot of Bang of Browns fans are scared of that because it's like, holy crap, this is the last year you can go do something. I'm sorry, but the Bengals are that good. We're going to be number one and number two seed, period. So be happy or be thankful you could possibly get the six or seven seed. But even that, I don't know if you're going to. It really comes down to a couple of things, right? The Browns have an easy schedule. They have Nick Chubb. They have a good receiving core. I say good receiving core because Amari Cooper again got hurt in training camp. Marquise Goodwin is out with blood clots. And then Elijah Moore, now you're trying to make a freaking running back. So that's not even going to work out. So maybe. Deshaun Watson's a tad bit better. Your defensive line carries you. Nick Chubb is the guy, which with all Ted's purposes possible, he doesn't even become the guy because he wants to get paid big money. Then possibly you fall into a 10-7 record and you make the playoffs, but there's zero chance you win the division. Zero, 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 zero. I would say there's even a... 5% chance the Ravens win the division. And that's if Todd Munkin's offense and the Ravens are the best team in human history. Right? And even then, I don't think they're going to win the division. And the Steelers, I'd say 0% chance. So, like, if you go down this list here, Cleveland, you're just last on the list. So, I hate to tell you this, but it's not going to happen. Now, you can sit there and dream in Candyland and, you know, imagine gumdrops and, you know, beautiful rainbows of Cleveland winning a Super Bowl and... You can kind of ride that rainbow to, you know, Fantasyland. And in Fantasyland, you guys made the playoffs and won the division. I'm so happy for you. But this is not Fantasyland. This is real life. And real life is you're not going to make, you're not going to win the division. Again, I'm, I, I think I'm saying a lot by saying you guys are going to make the playoffs. Because a lot of people say there's 0% chance the Browns make the playoffs. But again, like I said, I think with, some, you know, lucky stuff going left and right. Some easy schedule, some easy games, maybe some injuries. They can at least make the playoffs. But I don't know how far you guys can even get in the playoffs. Maybe you win one game, two games at most. Like, I don't, it's a, it really depends on who you play. If you play the New York Jets in the playoffs, because somehow, some way they win the division, then you probably... You might beat the New York Jets. I think the Jets are going to be that team that, you know, they might skate into the playoffs and w somehow win the division because they have an easier schedule and then, bam, they go ahead and lose first round to the Browns. I could possibly see that ends up happening. But other than that, there's a 0% chance. Sorry, Cleveland. It is what it is. Second best uniforms, white uniforms in Ohio behind us. Peace out.